Hey, Scott Austin here from Jade Puma. And in this video, I'm going to talk about ThemeKit and a uh, private app for it. Uh, ThemeKit is a tool that's released by Shopify that I use. And what it does is it allows me to download all the code files for a theme down to my local computer. And then what I do from there is I save those files to a, an app called GitHub. And that allows me to track code changes and see what's been changed by who or at least when, and that way I can sometimes troubleshoot problems, or if you know we make a mistake and something gets deleted in the, uh, the theme, it's easy to go back to GitHub, get the file that was deleted, and then upload it back into the store. So I use ThemeKit in every store that I do. And what I need for ThemeKit to work, so right now I'm in a Shopify admin of a, a, a demo store that I just set up for this video. And I'm in the store as the store owner and store admin. And what I wanna show you here is, Right here, what I need for ThemeKit is a, a private app. So most of you are probably used to, over here, clicking on the Shopify App Store and adding an app that way. But we can also set up private apps. What private apps do is it gives you know local code, that the ThemeKit code that I have already downloaded and installed on my computer, it gives it access to your store, this thing called APIs. Um, so I need a private app created. And what I want to show you here is I'm going to go into Settings and over to Account and show you here that for Jade Puma, we have a collaborator account with this store, and that's a limited access account. And even in that limited access, if I click on it, you can see the access it's given. I've given access to Jade Puma um, to apps. But now I'm gonna show you the view that I get. I'm gonna over, over to a new browser that's logged in to that same store, but I'm logged in with my Jade Puma collaborator account and I'm on the apps page, right? And here on the apps page, you'll notice there's, there's nothing here, and I'll show you what this should look like. So with limited access, if I don't have full admin access to the store, I can't create a private app. And I can see that because there's no link here that says create a private app. If I go back into my shop owner view, go back to the apps page, here you can see manage private apps. So if I had full access, even as my collaborator account, I'd be able to log in and create my own theme kit app, which I do for most stores, since most people give me full admin rights. But for those of you that don't, which is totally fine, right? Um, I need you to create that private app for me. So here's how you do that. So now remember, I'm in the admin as the store owner. I went to the apps section here, and I'm gonna click on that. Oops, sorry, my phone rang. I'm going to click on that uh, manage private apps link and now all I'm going to do is create a new app um, and private app name I usually put in theme kit um, I usually put my uh, Shopify domain, uh, email address in here the, these two actually can be any values that you want um, and then for access um, if you see down here, I expanded the, the list out. There's one called Theme Templates and Theme Assets. That's the only permission that I need for this app. So I'm going to set that one to Read Write, and the other ones above it that were already turned on, I'm going to put on No Access. So all this app will be able to do is access the theme templates and, and assets, so your theme files. I'm going to hit Save on that. The affirmation that we understand we're creating an app. And now the app has been created. And all I need from this is this password right here. Um, in, in ThemeKit on my local computer, I'll use that password to access this store and some other things that I already know about your store. But that's the only thing I'm going to need from you as the store admin creating this app for me is this password. If you just click on this little clipboard here, that'll copy that password automatically. Or you can show it and then copy and paste it that way. Either way works, but just send me that password and then I'll be able to set up theme kit on my side and track changes in the code of your store. All right, so that's how uh, you create a private app for, for me to use theme kit so I can use GitHub and track code changes on your store. Thanks for watching.